reckless, blind, bone-headed, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Kyotva's men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Sail down! What are you doing? Need to row our way out. Before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. Adventure. We must bring you the truth. That we attacked Kyotr's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Sail out! Sail out!
Pull up here. Well, well. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Randri. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned, but we killed many of Kyotve's warriors, and there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after seventeen winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor, just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Interested. Yes. Or Let us play.
like this. This will do. And I thought that is it. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, um, you taught me the. Let's. I always. But today we'll abstain. I'm inflating its key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. There are... In flighting, you'll need... It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Ah, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. <laughs> 